First, we're going to convert radians into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So as you can see, we have five radians that needs to be converted to these three, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So the first thing, I'm going to take five radians, and I'm going to multiply it by the conversion factor, 180 degrees, takes pi radians. Then I know that the radian unit will be canceled out. And as a result, what we'll have is 900 over pi degrees, because the degrees is the new unit that we have, the conversion unit here. And as a result, in the calculator, what this should give you is 286.478.976 degrees. Rounding to the four decimal places gives us 286.478 nine degrees. So now you need to convert this, these degrees into, you need to break them down into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Right, so what you're going to do, you're going to take this rounded result and you're going to set it equal to the first whole number being degrees, like this. Then you realize that you, you can express 0 0.4789, the four decimal places after the whole number, as 4789 divided by 10,000. Right? Because if you divide it by 10,000, you will get precisely 0 0.4789, right? The four decimal place number here, the rational number there. Right? And you know this is still in degrees because this whole thing was in degrees, right? We just split them up into a decimal number and to a whole number. So this is essentially equal to 286 degrees plus 447.89 divided by 10,000 degrees. Now let's convert it into minutes. We know that 60 minutes takes one degree. So now the degrees would be canceled out. I'm not going to cross them out because they're too small, but you're going to see. So this is essentially equal to 286 degrees plus 28.734 minutes, right? You do this in your calculator, you should get this result, 28.734 minutes. Now, keeping to convert, because we need seconds, right? We, we have two, two um, units so far, degrees and minutes, we need seconds. So we're going to continue converting. So 286 degrees plus 28 seconds. Now realize that we're basically splitting up this result into a whole number 28. And also we're going to convert the decimal 0 0.734, the decimal of the minutes, in, uh, second, uh, minutes yeah, into the seconds, right? So we're going to do 734 over 1,000. And this is going to be minutes. And realize 734 divided by 1,000 is exactly 0 0.734, the decimal number that fo follows the uh, whole number 28. So that gives us 286 degrees plus 28 minutes plus 734 divided by 1,000 minutes. And let's confirm. Let's convert it into seconds. So we've got 60 seconds takes one minute, right? We know that. So that gives us 286 degrees plus 28 minutes plus, and the calculator for this should give you 44.04 seconds. And putting this all together, um, into degrees, minutes, and seconds, written, written next to each other, would give you 286 degrees, 28 minutes, 44.04 .04 seconds. Okay, so this would be your, your final result. This is the converted result of the uh, given five radians. Now, the other way around, if you were asked to convert this uh, 
mixed result of degrees, minutes, and seconds into radians, you would start with splitting up uh, these into individual parts. 424 degrees plus 34 minutes plus 24 seconds. So realize we're kind, we're kind of going backwards from this result back to here. You see this whole thing? If you go backwards, you would split it up into sums like these. And then what you do is 424 degrees plus 34 minutes. And let's convert that to degrees. We realize that one degree takes 60 minutes. Okay. And then let's convert this fellow here, the second. So 24 seconds multiplied by the conversion factor. We know that one degree takes uh, 3,600 seconds like that. So that would give us 424 degrees plus 34 divided by 60 degrees plus um, 24 divided by 3600 degrees, right? So everything is going to be in degrees now because essentially we need only degrees in order to convert into radians, okay? Just like we converted the radians first into degrees and then we split them up into minutes and seconds, right? So here we just need the degrees for the conversion to radians to be successful. So as a result, this is equal to 424 degrees plus, and this result on your calculator should give you 0 0.5, seven sixes, seven degrees plus, and this should give you on your calculator 0, 0.00, and how many sixes are there? Six sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven degrees. And as a result, this is 424 degrees plus, you uh, add this up, you will get 0 0.57, and there are three, six threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, four degrees. So in total, that should give you a decimal answer, right? You just add this whole number to the decimal uh, number that follows it. So it's going to be 57333334 degrees. So now you got the whole answer in degrees, and you're just going to convert it to radians. That, that, should be, that should be easy to do. So we're going to take this guy, and we're going to copy him off. And then we're going to just multiply it by the conversion factor. You know that pi radians takes 180 degrees, right? The, the degrees will be gone and the radians will stay. So that should give you a calculator result of 7.4102025833 radians, which to the nearest hundredth would give you the rounding of 7.41 radians. Okay, rounded to the nearest hundredth here. So I hope this was useful. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.